Washington's football team returning to Washington. It's no secret district leaders would love to see that happen. In fact, the D.C. Council held a hearing today on the future of RFK Stadium. Mike Kinneen was there and joins us live with more. Mike? More says legislation calls for a feasibility study exploring the prospect of tearing down RFK Memorial Stadium as it is and building a 100,000 seat domed stadium with the hope of luring the burgundy and gold back to Washington. But not everyone is cheering for this game plan. The Redskins need to be in Washington, D.C. The Burgundy and Gold currently practice in Virginia and play in Maryland with a lease at FedEx Field that expires in 2027. D.C. Council members say that's just enough time to get the ball rolling and study the feasibility of a new stadium at RFK to get Washington's hometown football team to return home. Here, let's have a feasibility study. Let's see what the possibilities are. Let's build this model so everybody can see what we're talking about. D.C. United, which plays at RFK, plans to relocate to a new 25,000 seat stadium near National's ballpark, a deal still being worked out by Mayor Vincent Gray. This plan, drafted by D.C. Council member Vincent Orange, not only calls for a 100,000 seat domed stadium, but also a sports complex with an 18 hole PGA golf course, hotels, a sound stage, and an indoor water park. It's worth noting RFK Stadium sits on U.S. government land leased by the district, so all of these plans would need federal approval. Ancillary growth takes place. The whole Reservation 13 would grow up around the stadium where you would have your restaurants and your bars and your condominiums. Many believe such a sports complex would make the district a contender to host Super Bowls, maybe even the Olympics. Testifying at this public hearing, neighbors expressed support and opposition to the proposal. All states are looking for new revenue streams within their own boundaries. It is, is, is a requirement and a necessity due to the size of the District of Columbia that we also do the same. There's only 10 football games a year. Maybe you get a concert here or there. You maybe can get it up to 10 to 15 events a year. The rest of the year, the stadium is not open. Uh, all the restaurants and retail inside the stadium are not for use by the community. It's, it's a closed facility. It's surrounded by parking lots. It just sits there. Last year, the D.C. Council approved a resolution urging team owner Dan Snyder to abandon the name Redskins. But considering all that controversy, there was surprisingly little said at today's public hearing about that or whether the name would need to be changed for both sides to reach such a major legal agreement about financing or building a new stadium. Morris.